Hello friends, and welcome to the channel. I'm Handington, and today, this time we're actually going to get straight to the cookie dough. So this is from 7, 7 Select, because for some reason 7-Eleven decides that they want to be fancy. So this is the Selects from 7-Eleven, the top creme de la creme of 7-Eleven. But considering the quality, it actually does kind of taste like that, so it's an appropriate name where it's Fancy 7-Eleven, which if you can imagine what that would be, that's what this is like. It's Fancy 7-Eleven. It's not fancy, but it's also not quite 7-Eleven. So, it's edible cookie dough. Safe to eat or bakeable, but why would you want to bake it? Because the whole appeal is that it's edible cookie dough. So, it's made without eggs, serving size, a pile... It's, this is a trick that they do. Serving size is two, uh, even though it's all supposed to be one serving size. This way they can cut down on the amount of calories that it is, but I didn't eat too much food today, so I'd, I'd still equal, like, about 2,000. Uh, <laughs> 2,000, 2,500, I don't know. Um, so it's totally within, like, a reasonable diet. <laughs> so I don't mind doing this. Um... In the ingredients, it has heated treated flour, which is a great thing. And this is one of the few times where reading the instructions is actually important because the ingredients are part of the whole point of this. Um, wheat flour, niacin, reduced iron. Ooh, so it's it's uh, it's just Tony Stark. It's not Iron Man. Uh, thiamine monotrate riboflavin, which is just something that Professor Frank would say, and I love it. Sugar, chocolate chips made of chocolate liqueur. Holy smokes, this is select. Only the fanciest of 7-Eleven dishes. Cocoa butter. Soy lethacin. 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 Soy. An emulsifier. Ooh. It's like uh, an unknown Marvel superhero. Sort of like the villain Calendar Man. The Calendar Man's main enemy is the emulsifier. Vanilla margarine. Oh, no, vanilla. And then margarine. From a whole pile of different things that create margarine. And including, but not limited to, palmitate added. Whoops. Palmitate. Wait, where am I? Palmitate added. Whey. I thought it, I thought it would say something else. Palmitate added. Third one from the top. Yeah, palmitate added whey. Then water. Invert sugar. Is that, like, anti-sugar? Is that, like, on the first episode of Doctor Who? Not the original Doctor Who, but the when they brought it back, the the, the anti-plastic? Is, is that what invert sugar is? That's, I'm going to imagine that's what it is. Um, milk powder, vanilla flavor, which is just water, sugar, alcohol, pure vanilla extract, and caramel color, and then ethyl vanillin. Ethyl vanillin. It's not vanilla, it's vanillin. They're not legally allowed to call it vanilla. It's ethyl vanillin. Does that scare anybody? <laughs> it's like, oh, would you like this chippin? And it's choco chips, but it, they can't legally call it that, so they have to make it out of chippin, and it's an unidentifiable um, element. Vanillin. Sounds like the Pokemon. Vanillite? Vanillux? Baking soda? Salt? And contains soy? Milk wheat does not contain egg. Specifically, they make sure to show you that. Manufacture. Excuse me, manufactured on equipment that processes tr uh, peanuts or tree nuts. So sorry to all of you who can't have any of those. No trans fats, 
no cholesterol, and somehow there's four grams of protein in here? Because that's what we eat cookie dough for, the protein. Um, it's six ounces. It's a decent amount. It, they're, they're pretty dense. They're very nice. I've they, They've been here for more than a half hour, so they're warming up. They're much better cold. But yes, these are safe to eat raw lumps. Um... They are amazing. They're even better than the cookie dough that you'd get at Carvel because they taste like actual dough. These don't taste like brown sugar that's soft. This tastes like genuine dough that you would see while making a uh, cookie dough, uh, making cookies, except it's just actual dough. It's great. It's amazing. And you just, you don't get that flavor or feeling with other things. You don't get that like at Carvel where they have their cookie dough mix or most other cookie dough flavors or anything. It feels like real dough. And they sell it at 7-Eleven. It's in a cup, like a drinking cup where you could put a straw in there for some reason. I don't understand it, but I guess that's just the container that they use. Maybe it was just cheaper. I don't know why you would want to bake with this besides it's easy if you just immediately wanted to bake cookies without... But, but you might as well buy... Pillsbury. This was two fifty. A little bit pricey, um, but could be worse. Um, it's really, really good, so it does live up to that to the price. But then again, I just don't have all that much money to spend on stuff in general. Like at Dollar Tree, I could buy a carton of cookies for a dollar, um, and I'm getting what's the equivalent of a couple of cookies that are much higher quality, but still a couple of cookies for two fifty. So it's less, but you're, you're paying for the quality and the experience of eating cookie dough that's perfectly safe. It's fantastic. Um, so let me try to open, oh, I was gonna try to open it with one hand, but that was way easier. Thank you, long nails. Um, oh, oh dear. Oh my, I didn't do this. Did somebody open up the package to take one? I didn't open this up. I didn't open this beforehand. They're not gonna believe me. If I say, hey, I didn't open this, and it looks like it's slightly lowered, and it's been warm. So I may not get salmonella from eating the cookie doughs, but who, uh, who knows if I'll get sick from somebody else. That's not sanitary. 7-Eleven selects. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, they even give baking instructions. How did I never notice that before? Bakeable at 350 for 8 to 10 minutes. I never noticed that for some reason. Satisfaction guaranteed. I could complain. If I get sick, I'm not suing 7-Eleven because this is my own choice. You all saw it first here, folks. Check the package. Open up the lid first and see if it's opened or not. Let this be a lesson to you all. This one is this one is a little bit more flat. Usually they're a little bit more like that, the little lump-like. This one is a bit more of a puck, although it's as I hold it longer, it's slowly squishing because it melts. There's a certain pull to this that it has that you don't get in other cookie dough. Let me see if I can show show you. Uh, the, and when you have it in your mouth, it just it feels better. You just it's just really good quality cookie dough. Look at that. Look at my horrible nails. I usually like my nails a little bit longer because I can craft better with it, but I just I just haven't been taking care of myself as much as I should. Anyway, eh, what else is new? <laughs> they make a great sound when you bite into them. Just, it tastes like dough. It just is so good. 
and then there's a, the, the chocolate chips, because the dough part, the little, um, the color that you see, which takes up the most of this, the little tan, that just kind of melts in your mouth. And then it's a pile of chocolate chips with a really nice brown sugary kind of taste. And, and a doughy taste as well. And it's, it's just sticky enough for you to feel the sticky experience, but it doesn't stick, um, yeah, I got spit on the camera, blech. But it doesn't stick so much that it's like caramel, where it's just sticky all over, eh, there's, eh, you go back on there. It doesn't, it, 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 it's not sticky when you eat it, but there's a stickiness to it that's satisfying. It's like, um, it's a sticky flavor that doesn't last, um, so it just gives you the feeling of it without it really getting stuck in, like, your mouth and everything. It's really good. It just makes me so happy. Oh, it's, it's just fantastic. It may have been from 7-Eleven and open. I mean, it's on a refrigerated shelf. I mean, this is still covering it, at least, so it's not just a completely open package, but still. When cookies have been made, I've just been told that you can't have any of the cookie dough, uh, and it's like, oh, come on, can I have a taste? And it's like, no. It's it's beautifully elusive, and now you can have it from 7-Eleven without having to worry about salmonella, which is great. And it's really good. And don't... I mean, again, you can bake it if you want to, but the whole point of this is that it's edible to eat. That's <laughs> redundantly redundant. It's edible raw, and it's fantastic. I would definitely recommend giving these a try if you ever just want cookie dough without any worry about the salmonella, or if you just re want really good cookie dough. <laughs> it's really good. So we're not going to wallow in sad. We're going to embrace the cookie dough and be happy. Don't worry, be happy now. Turn it into a little heart for all of you for for watching this video. Thank you all for caring about me. But I believe it's that time again, friends. If you like what I do, don't be shy to give a thumbs up. Yay. Have a pleasant day, everyone. And this is Handington signing off. Bye. Oh. The eating sound was essential.